we hunt. The nature of us. Now we must stick together. A wee hint, the nature goes. So here we've got the Mahakam Pyrotechnician. This is another square tower card. It's a four strength bronze. It's also a dwarf. When deployed, it damages a random unit on each of the row on the opponent's side of the board by three. So it would damage one on the melee and one on the range and one on the siege. So it's, it's very unusual. It hits them vertically, although randomly. Um, but the value is nice because that's nine plus four, which is 13. And, um, you know, that's decently high for a bronze. Now, it does require that they have a unit on each row. In long rounds, that's doable. In short rounds, maybe not. You might lose some value. Um, but you do have a lot of movement technology in Square Tower that you can move units to particular rows and then do it. And um, it kind of reminds me of the trappers. Um, these are the cards that lay the trap and they do two damage to the entire row. And it's kind of like the inverse of that. Now, you've got movement tech for those as well, but it makes more sense to me to line them up all on a single row because then you've got things like lacerate and uh, things like that, which will do more damage. Now, there's positive and the negative to both of these cards. The trappers could get more damage, but it could be stopped by locking or removal or consuming the trap. Whereas this, you know, you'd have to move it in, in a different way, but lacerate wouldn't be as effective, but weather might be as effective because you'll hit more units this way. So, I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to both, really. And uh, you have to see, I mean, this has synergy with Dwarf, so you've got Yarpin and you've got Dennis Kramer to buff this up to five as soon as you put it down, and stuff like that. So, it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting card and we'll see if we can fit it in and, and maybe make a different style of movement, a Dwarven kind of orientated one. So I'm hoping the movement archetype will get a bit of a revamp. And this might be key to that. If they get revamped so moving your opponent's units is more beneficial to you because um, often you would lose value for doing this like you've got the dwarf that moves a unit and if it's an ally buff it it's an enemy then you are nothing for it but if they revamp it so you can play in an offensive movement square tower deck this guy might be really really good as well so i don't know thanks for watching guys take care i'll see you again very soon Pam Param, Pam Pam Param.